What's going on, Paranormal World? This week's episode of Ghost Adventures takes place in, you guessed it, California. So, the place they're investigating is this old historic saloon, and apparently a specific evil entity is causing some serious poltergeist activity. And this building is over 150 years old, and I'm pretty sure it's seen its share of the wild, wild west. The owner of this property has a collection of security footage from all the paranormal activity that has taken place. Plus, he says there's been four reported deaths at this property. One suicide, um, one murder, and then it was an accidental death. Somebody was climbing a ladder and fell down. And then it was an abortion surgery that didn't go quite well. So that happened. But one thing I love about this episode is that the owner of this place had a lot of physical evidence of poltergeist activity occurring. The camera footage he was showing, I mean, it was just unbelievable. He showed one where a knife was falling down on the ground. And the lady that was in the security video you could see her reaction, and it was legit. She looked behind her. She said, oh, no, I'm out of here. I know that was paranormal, so I'm not going to play around with it. And he said that that girl never came back to that place. She quit right there on the spot. So, you know, I like those type of stories, and I like those genuine reactions. And another security camera video captured a lamp falling off an end table, but that's not it. The last security video he showed us was the bartender. I guess she was closing up at night or whatever. Over. but she was walking past and all of a sudden this car tire just fell down on its own and you know anybody who knows you know about cars or whatever you know how heavy a tire is so that was a strong entity to cause that tire to flip over like that but one of the security videos that caught my eye was showing all these people running and reacting from whatever they were seeing and you know that's what kind of creeped me out like what in the world did they see to make these grown people run out this building and never come back like what in the world did they see and like I said reactions are everything and those were real reactions and so far the security footage has been the best thing so far this season of Ghost Adventures <laughs> But um, as the episode moves on, the crew decides to do a quick paranormal sweep with the bartender who experienced that paranormal stuff from the tire flipping over. And she she personally experienced, you know, this old woman looking at her um, in one of the rooms. But she said that, you know, she seen this old woman wearing this 1800s gown and she had no eyes. And she changed forms. She was in a human form. And next thing you know, she was in a shadowy figure. So, you know, as she's talking about it and everything, she begins to cry when she's walking around. And she says, hey, I, I need to go. I need to leave because this is just too much pressure. And I never want to come back up here. And she just left out. But something Zach said was very interesting. Zach said that the entity that came in contact with this bartender was called the old hag now i never heard of that before leave a comment down below if you heard of this before but anyway then we see zach bringing in his pet canine gracie and he wanted to see if his dog would you know sense anything sense anything um crazy or something like that but the dog could sense you know I guess something eerie in one of the rooms upstairs and he didn't want Zach to go in there. So, um, that was that. But, you know, one thing I love after, you know, Zach brought his dog in, he brought out the Boone microphone. Now, these is one of these old microphones that typically they used to use, um, back in the day with, um, paranormal stuff, especially if you've seen the Conjuring movie back in the 1970s, you can see that they were using that type of equipment, and I wish Ghost Adventures would go to using this type of equipment instead of all this high-tech technology, but anyway, that's another story. So, on day two, they reviewed some EVPs they captured the day before, and the EVPs seemed real and very different from previous episodes of Ghost Adventures. They seemed more real, a lot more subtle, and faint. So, that's something I caught on to. So, the lockdown actually begins, and it seems like they spent most of the time in the lockdown using the Potapod device. 
And that's probably one of the worst pieces of technology I hate about Ghost Adventures is this Potipod device. I, I can't stand it. But anyway, they were communicating back and forth with this entity. But anyway, um, towards the end of the episode, they captured, a, I guess, a shadowy figure crossing past the X camera. And speaking of the X camera, can we bring back like them showing the X camera, like showing them put the tape down. I miss that about those episodes, man. It's just stuff like that that can bring, you know, joy back to Ghost Adventures. Y'all get what I'm saying? But anyway, how do you all feel about this episode? Me personally, I will have to say that this is probably the best episode since the Cecil Hotel special. And that's not really saying much, but at the same time, you know, what are you going to do? But yeah, how do you all feel about this episode? Did you like it or did you dislike it? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you love any and everything paranormal, then make sure you check out my channel and subscribe if you like it. And hit that notification button so you can see every time I upload. As always, be safe. Peace.